Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai. My name is Sam and today we're back playing Bloon Star Defense 6. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be using the uh, Ancient Monkey mod as you can see here. Um, uh, once again. Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll grab Oven. But yeah, we're going to be putting this guy up against uh, the Elite Blunarius, and we'll see how that goes. I mean, the last time we put him against normal Blunarius, the earlier rounds are always pretty difficult for him, but, you know, after, after the, probably, like, first, honestly, after, after you can get through the first Blunarius, everything else is pretty easy. Um, like, the first few tiers, like, first tier is pretty difficult, Second tier, also kind of difficult, but then things just start scaling really quickly, especially if you can get some early money generation. Then this guy just becomes unstoppable. Like, he he becomes so overpowered that, like, it just doesn't even matter anymore. Um, so we do, we have uh, the two forms of lead poppage and... I don't think hot. No, that wouldn't make sense for Hot Shot to be able to hit camos. So we're still going to need to have a way eventually in the future to have a way of uh, popping camos. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But for the time being, I think we should be pr in a pretty good position. Oven is a pretty good start to have. I can pretty much carry through like the majority. Monkeynomics right off the bat. This run is going to be insane. I can already tell you that this run is going to be crazy. We're going to uh, keep going for more abilities. Now that we're going to have something that's going to be generating $9,000 every time it's used. Free 9k. Up oh, overclock as well. That's going to be insane. Because it's basically, with this guy, it's like, overclock lasts for so long that it's basically a permanent overclock. Uh, and elite sniper ability, so we're going to have more money generation. Let's get another, oh, more elites. Oh, okay, yeah, this guy is going to be absolutely cracked. And we got greater production, so let's get a monkey farmer down. He'll also be able to pick up the elite sniper uh, stuff, so that'll be good for us. Let's go for tack. Uh, let's save it for another up oh, summon Phoenix. Nice. Let's try to save up for another ability. Oh, and we got MIB now. <laughs> so now everything that we have can pop leads, everything and camos and purples and we quite literally do not need to worry about anything at all at this point. Um, we just need to get more abilities. Oh, we got MIB again, which you know I can't. I can't really complain. Oh, MIB again. Oh, yeah, lovely. Uh, let's go for sharpshooter, crossbow. Let's start focusing on uh, our weapons, I guess. Laser Blast, that's going to be good. Azili, Moab Assassin, that's going to be really good for the Moab Blue. Uh, let's go for Large Caliber, that's going to be good. Uh, more Laser Blast. Jeez, yeah, things are... I, I don't think I spiked mines already. I don't think I've ever had a run this good. Like, just basically right off the bat. First ability is is Monkeynomics. Second ability, Overclock. Third and fourth ability are both Elite Sniper. Like, this, this beginning is insane. This is, like, actually crazy. Let's go for more Open. I think more Open is probably better than whatever else there was. I think it was like sharp, or is it like it was the crossbow. That's right. I think Oven's probably better than that. Uh, let's go for more air burst. 
Uh, let's go for Sentry Expert. And then let's go for Hydro Rocket Pods. I wish you, I wish you could actually lock it in place, but it's fine that you can. Okay. Um, hold on. We're gonna need to be a little bit more careful with this guy. Um. Because we could actually lose this if we're not careful about it. And the reason I say that is because this guy sends out balloons everywhere. Okay. I was a little, little worried about that, but we're good. Okay. So that's his locked position. Okay. Well, uh, let's go for another oh, carpet of spikes. Okay. I mean, might as well. Just another ability for him to constantly be using. Because why not? Uh, more laser blast. Oh, Etienne. Why not? Etienne's really not going to do much, but why not go for him? Uh, let's go for a white hot spikes. Jeez. Remember how I talked about like the early game is like usually pretty difficult? Yeah, not unless you get extremely lucky like this. Oh, another monkey nomics. Just what I needed. Imagine if I wasn't recording and I just like I'm getting all this luck and it's like I'm not even recording. I would actually be so mad. I, I would I would be incredibly annoyed. I'd be like, you're telling me that this whole time I'm getting all this luck and it's because I haven't been recording? Another monkey nomics. I you know we're, we haven't even made it to the tier two. Like we've we just beat tier one elite Lunarius and this guy is already gonna be insane. Like crazy strong. Another Carpet of Spikes, which is going to deal insane damage. Tech Terror ability. Yeah, this is, this is just crazy. Go for more, another large caliber. Go for a cluster bomb. Wow, yeah, that... That MOAP did not last very long. Let's go for greater production. Go for spike balls. Let's go for, what else can we get? Uh, let's go for Churchill, why not? Oh uh, yeah, let's just focus on stronger weapons at this point, I think. Uh, go for that. Give him a bit more range. I don't think he really needs more pierce. I think it's just damage that he needs at this point. Um, we'll, we can get that by just with that. And he is shredding. He has evaporated that guy. Okay. Um... Another summoning phoenix ability. Great. Love it. Love to see it. He has full map range at this point. Uh, let's just continue making him stronger. Again, Pierce doesn't really need it. Um, attack speed and range. Only really needs attack speed, so... Wow. Yeah, this is, uh... 
This is crazy. This is actually... Like, I knew this was going to be crazy. Like, this is always crazy. But... This is... I never get this lucky. Like, sometimes you get lucky, but, like... This is an un unheard of level of luck, at least to me. Like honestly, the the uh, sub commander. Oh my gosh. Um. But yeah, like it's not even honestly with this. It's like the super brittle as well. That's gonna be. That just increases the damage of, like, doesn't, doesn't that just increase? Balloons take huge damage while frozen, including Moab class balloons. Um, all that balloons become brittle, take extra damage while frozen, and lose kick. Yeah, okay. So yeah, it's just gonna make everything even crazier. Um, but yeah, it's, it's like, the weapons on, in this aren't even, like, the part that's, like, insane. It's the it's 100% the abilities. The abilities are what you want the most luck in at least early on. Later on, then maybe like oh another monkey no, monkey -nomic. monkey nomics. There we go. Um but yeah, early on you definitely want like super incredibly good abilities because they're those are going to be what carry you through like the early game and into late game. Another MIB. So yeah. Things are going to get very crazy as soon as this next elite balloon area shows up. Another Hydra rocket pods. Why not? Banana research facility. We'll take it. Um, after tier 3 Blunarius, I think I'm going to upgrade him into the advanced Ancient Monkey. I think I'm just going to keep trying to kind of boost, um, probably money at this point, actually. I think his money production is probably going to be what I want to increase the most right now. I wonder if attack speed works on the banana upgrades. I assume maybe it does. It'd be cool if it did. I hope it does. I actually hope it does. Oh, uh, let's just go. We don't need more range. We really don't. I mean, just look at the destruction. That bad got shredded. The bad was the, like these bads are barely even showing up on screen. Like they show up, as soon as they hit the track, they just immediately get demolished. Okay, like I said, after that, we're gonna upgrade him into the advanced ancient monkey. So he keeps everything, and then all of the prices get decreased. Other than stronger weapons. But, like, well, everything. The default prices of them, I should say, get decreased. Um. Spike Storm. Yeah, let's get teleportation on him. Why did I get Overclock? Overclock is literally useless. First Strike. First Strike. Well, it's not useless, but I mean, like, at this point, it's basically. Mold Eliminator. Okay, yeah, that was a lot of abilities that just got used used all at once. Go for another summoning Phoenix. Okay, well, let's go through his weapons. Banana Plantation. Air Burst. Spike Balls. Uh, let's go for a Wall of Fire. Go for Sharpshooter. Icicles. Uh, let's go for a Ring of Fire. Not sure what that's going to look like. 
Elite Defender, Mob Assassin, another Icicles, Ultra Juggernaut, Super Brittle. I think at some point it stops doing anything. Bomb Blitz, Wave Lord, <laughs> Mob Domination. Let's get another Hydro Rocket, another Sentry Expert. Go for greater production, actually. Uh, let's go for another greater production. Plasma Accelerator. Uh, Super Storm. Avatar of Wrath. <laughs> Spirit of the Forest. Banana Plantation. Banana Central. And Sun Avatar. I don't think Sun Avatar even really does anything. Well. Let's take a look at some of the abilities as well that we can get. Let's go for Snowstorm. Let's go for another Monkey Nomics. Another Monkey Nomics. Okay, let's start upgrading the weapon aspect of this whole thing. Let's increase the money. Money. Uh, that increases damage. That's good. Yeah, he's actually doing quite well at surviving. So we definitely need to increase things by a good amount more. Oh, yep, things are getting very laggy now. Uh... Here, let me stop buying things so you guys can actually see what, see what's actually happening behind the, uh, yeah, I mean, things are spawning and then dying. I think that, I think the biggest thing right now that's going to be dealing, like, heavily taking care of everything to do with, like, um, everything to do with, like, smaller balloons, I think it's mainly going to be the spirit of the forest. So I think the spirit of the forest at this point is just going to be so strong that, like, it, it's just nothing's even really going to be able to get through. This would be good, but I think our pierce is so high at this point that we don't even really need that. Uh, we just need damage and money. Range doesn't matter to us. Uh, just damage. And attack speed, obviously, as well, would be good. This increases attack speed by a lot. Um, that's a money boost. Attack speed boost. Attack speed. That's damage and money. Both two things that I didn't need. I just grabbed the upgrade for it. Why did I do that? More attack speed. More attack speed. And this, but this is money. I think I'm going to go for the attack speed though. More attack speed. We have a million. A million and a half dollars. One point, we're up to 1.6 now. Increase our money some more. Okay, our money is still going up. Our money is continuing to skyrocket. No matter how much I spend, I cannot... Like, I just... I'm making more than I am spending. No matter what I do, I just continue to make more than I am, I spend. My game might crash. Well, um... You know what, let's just, let's, let's stop with the abilities. I think the abilities are probably more than what we need
I mean, nothing's even coming out on the screen. I'm a little concerned that Blunarius won't even really come out on the screen. I want you guys to just take a look at his health. Hold on. Uh, let's pause it. Uh, let's go into... Effects. See if that... Fixes anything? No, not really. Hold on. Let's, uh, let's close out of some applications. See if that helps. Oh, that was a bad idea. Okay. Back to zero. Well, um... You know what, just for the fun of it, since he's almost... He's gonna die soon anyways. Let's just up it to 100%, and let's just watch the chaos unfold. Yeah, that's a lot happening. We can't even... Oh, where's he at? That's a sentry turret. He's somewhere around here. There he is. Wow. It's, uh, there's so much happening that the audio has cut out. I don't know if you guys can... I would say, can you hear that? But I actually, it's the opposite. Can you not hear? Can you... I mean, that's the problem. I can't hear anything. I mean... There's literally nothing to hear because the audio cut out for the game. Like, the, not the music, but just, like, the attacking and balloons popping. That sound effect is non-existent right now. Um, those fortified BIDs are about to get demolished. Did my game crash? No, it did not. But there's still BIDs on the screen. Well, uh, it's safe to say that this guy... Uh, can, in fact, beat Elite Blunarius even with almost $14 million left. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of BTD6. This uh, mod might be a slight bit overpowered, but it's, all, it's fun to use. So you guys definitely should check it out, play it for yourselves. The, uh, the name of the mod is Ancient Monkey. Um, it's on GitHub. Like I said, highly recommend you guys check it out. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. It would mean the world to me. It doesn't cost you guys anything. And yeah, hope to see you guys in the next one. You guys take care.